guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome um i've got a couple new subscribers you guys are so amazing honestly thank you i know i'm like i think i'm almost at 100 i know that's like not a lot for some people but i cannot believe it like a hundred people that's really cool but today even though it's in june i did a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys want to see me use these like it's like a recipe of these pumpkin like pocket pie things that I talked about a couple days ago um and 91% said yes so I was like okay well I'm gonna do it because almost every day is Halloween for most of us and with all the decor you know coming out soon it's like why not and then also you know everything that's going on in our world a lot of people are still at home i'm not i'm back working but still i was like well this is a fun little thing that you can make and it's actually pretty easy unless you're like me and a perfectionist and you just want everything to look perfect but i have all my spooky dishes with me so if you would like to see this recipe and how i made it and what i drew in these pumpkins because i did not use this mold i used this side and i drew in it just keep watching and now that we got background noise on, of course we gotta light a fall candle. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that Bath and Body Works is planning on, they gave me like a preview. I think if you're signed up for like um, emails and stuff, you got the preview, but they are planning on releasing fall candles next week. Okay, so this is what you will need for the pie crust. It is one and a half cups of flour. You need one teaspoon of sugar. You need half a teaspoon of salt. You will need half cup of unsalted butter. So you're gonna end up using this whole stick and then it does need to be chilled and you're going to be cutting it into one inch cube pieces. I usually just do like a tablespoon at a time. That's an inch. I mean, I don't know how they decide an inch, but that's usually what I do and it normally works. So you'll be using the whole thing. Make sure it stays chilled. Three tablespoons of ice water. I just kind of make a little extra and just let it sit. But this is what you will need to make the pie crust. Okay, so then you are going to need a food processor for this. I don't know any other way you can do this without one. I always use one and it's really easy and you need it the most is because you need this pulse button right here. So in the food processor, you are going to combine your flour. You're gonna add in the sugar. You're also gonna add in the salt. And then this next part is going to be the most important. You're gonna cube the butter into about inch sized pieces. I wouldn't do any bigger than that because it's gonna be harder to do. You're gonna add that in. And you are going to take this whole butter stick and cut it into pieces and then add that into the food processor. Okay, so once you have your butter in, you're gonna go ahead and lock your lid on. Make sure you put that in it otherwise it's just gonna go everywhere and you're gonna pulse this until the butter is basically in crumbles the size of peas so it is gonna take a minute 
um, and make sure you use the pulse button, not the on button. And then I will take like a little spatula and try to shift through it and make sure that it's all, um, you know, cubed up, which, and it does. So I would say about like, honestly, probably no more than a minute of doing the mixture and it should be pulsed up to where it is. Okay, so next you're gonna take the ice water and you're gonna do one tablespoon at a time. You're just gonna scoop it out and you're gonna put it in the top here. And then as you do one tablespoon at a time, you're gonna mix the dough with it on just until the dough starts coming together. It's very important that you do not add too much water, otherwise it will get sticky and it will not work. Okay, so I used four tablespoons, but this is what it should look like. See how it's kind of sticking on the sides and then it's like really crumbly down there. The next part, you take this out and you form it into a disc. This does not look like it's gonna turn into dough, but trust me, it will. If you do any more than this, this is where it turns sticky and it's not gonna wanna do anything that you want it to do. So this is the goal. This is what it should look like. Kind of like dried cookie dough, but I promise you, once you get your hands in there and start mixing it together, it will work. Okay, so next you are gonna get some plastic wrap. You're gonna put it down on the counter so that you can mold the dough and make it into a disc. And then it will need to sit in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes before you can start to roll it out. See how it was pretty crumbly when I took it out? I don't know if you can see it on the plastic, but now it is a full-on piece of dough. Like, that's solid. So do not give up. Do not think you did something wrong. It has to be crumbly. Like, it needs to be crumbly until you press it together. Okay, so once you get it all out of the processor, it should look something like this. See? they turn into dough balls. If your mixture is still way too crumbly and you cannot get it to turn like this, you can add just a little bit more water and pulse it just a little bit more, but just, so you're gonna roll these out, you're gonna string and wrap them, and they need to go in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so once you have your dough in the fridge and you're gonna let it chill for at least 30 minutes, you can go ahead and clean up this mess, and then we are going to start making the filling for the pumpkin pies. Normally, if I was making this like actually in fall, I would use a real pumpkin, which I think I'm gonna do my actual pumpkin pie recipe, you know, actually in fall when I can get a pumpkin. I'll probably film the one that I usually make on Thanksgiving, but for now we are gonna have to use canned pumpkin. I don't really want to, but we I don't have access to a real pumpkin right now. Okay, so for the pumpkin pie mix, you're going to need one can of pumpkin i do prefer to use real pumpkins like i said before but they are just not in season right now so we'll save that for a different recipe you're gonna need pumpkin you're going to need half a cup of brown sugar two teaspoons of ground cinnamon one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice one teaspoon of vanilla one egg beaten one teaspoon of water so so with this recipe i was going constantly going back and forth trying to figure out what i wanted to use to make the inside of the pies um, because what i normally use would be way too watery for these kind of pies like it it's just too much. Um, I do think it's weird that I'm putting vanilla in it. I had never done that before.
Make sure you preheat your oven to 400. Okay, so for rolling out the dough, what I found easiest is to take some saran wrap, lay it down on the counter, but also tape it down onto the counter so it doesn't move. Okay, so you're gonna take your dough out of the fridge. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Take it out, set this aside. We're gonna sprinkle some flour down so it doesn't stick. Now this is the messy part where I don't know why I'm wearing black. All right, so once you get the dough rolled out, we are gonna use this side of the cutter and just basically make like two pumpkin shaped cookies. So this is very much a trial and error for me at the same time. Um, I used only this side. I don't know if you need to use this side and this side, but I didn't want to do these. But as you can see, it's like not coming out here, but it is here, but it's at the bottom there. I don't know, I guess we'll see. I have a feeling I'm still gonna need to seal it with a fork. Not bad. That looks like, yeah, that looks cool, but am I gonna be able to get it out the other side without ruining it with my nails? Oh wow, this came out pretty good. I mean, it's not sealed at the bottom, so we'll have to use the fork, like I said. But that's okay. Once you have your desired shape face and it's all pushed together and it's not going to come out any of the edges, make sure that you brush the whole thing with a light coat of that mixture of egg. Also, when you're making these, if you're not going to do a face on it, I do suggest using like these to put some air holes in it because I don't know how well these are going to bake without them, but yeah. And 
just to make everything taste a little better, I'm just going to sprinkle some sugar on top. Alright guys, here are my little pies finished. I made three pumpkins and then guess who that is? Had to make a jack guys, come on. But yeah, I think they're really cute. Um, I'm glad that my recipe only made four because as much as, this is weird, but as much as I love baking them, I don't really like eating them that much. Like I'll probably eat one of these and be like, I'm done, like I don't want any more. But Okay, so a couple of things that I've learned along the way is I think making an actual pie is a lot easier than making these like little pocket pies. Um, when you're making these, if you have this specific mold, by the way, this is from William Sonoma, make sure that the rigid part, since it's only on one end, is on the top. So you have it here, you put one on top, and then you squeeze it like you saw in the video. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is that this edge right here is also like a cookie cutter. So it's, you know, it's really thin. So like when you're pushing down to make sure that you seal the pie and you get those ridges in, it is a little tough on your hand. I think what would have been better is if I like made, I don't know how I would even do this because you have to use the cookie cutter get, to get that shape. But if like it was slightly bigger than this actual part, it would have been better because then it would go over the edge, completely seal for sure, and then when it was closed, you could just trim off the edge. There might be a way that I could still do that. I don't know, I feel like it would be a lot of work. This took me like, probably maybe two hours to do, but I was filming and everything. You could probably do this in an hour. Something else um, that would be easier for you guys is if you actually found a recipe that you liked for the crust, the outside, and the filling, I didn't. I was like, oh, well, I already know how to make the crust, so I'm just gonna use what I already know. So I used the recipe that I used to make my pumpkin pie, which it worked. Like I said, I'm glad that I only made four because I don't even know if I'll eat all of them. But the filling, I kinda wish it wasn't brown because it's not that pretty, but it was the, it's because I put the pumpkin spice in it I wasn't gonna use a recipe that had that, but I seriously could not find a recipe that wasn't like everything else, but also like whipped cream or egg yolks or, or an egg yolk for the outside and on the inside or like heavy or I'm, I'm sorry, sweet condensed milk. So it was really weird. Um, I definitely should have found a better inside recipe, but if you make them and you want them to look more appealing, do not use a recipe that has pumpkin pie spice. Just use all the other spices it'll keep the pumpkin um, orange just like a pumpkin pie is. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I definitely had fun filming it, but just FYI, I am not a professional baker and this is definitely not a cooking channel. I just thought it would be fun to make some pumpkin stuff to kick off the season because for me, Halloween and everything starts the day after my birthday. My birthday is in August. Almost all the stores except like Target has Halloween out. So literally I have my birthday on the 22nd and then on August 23rd, I do full blown Halloween in the house. Sometimes if I'm too busy, I'll wait till September 1st, but that hardly ever happens because I'm like, no, I'm too excited. I just want it out now. So it's like my birthday and then Halloween and then Christmas starts on November 1st, but I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, I think as we get closer to, you know, actual fall and I can get real pumpkins, not just the canned, because I really don't like using the can. Um, I think this Thanksgiving, I always make a pumpkin pie. I think I'll film making my pumpkin pie from 100% scratch. It's the dough recipe that you saw right now. And then also it's cooking a whole pumpkin. It takes a while, but I promise you, it is so good. So if you guys enjoyed cooking with me, please go ahead and give this video a like and make sure you subscribe to see more because this is just the start of it. Once the stores start rolling out the um, Halloween, I almost said Christmas. <laughs> 
I guess that's what happens when you watch Nightmare Before Christmas too much and it's actually on right now, it's just on mute. But once the stores start rolling out Halloween, I'm gonna try my best to do like little shop with me videos. Um, they might, I don't know, I think they might be like a little weird for me in the beginning because going shopping right now is just weird to begin with because of everything that's going on and you have to wear a mask and everything. But that's not gonna stop me from shopping for Halloween stuff. I will be safe doing it, but I'm still gonna go. But what I told myself is, is that I'm definitely, cause I would have already gone this weekend, but I already know that what I saw like on Instagram and everything is definitely all that they have. So I told myself that I would wait until at least the end of the, of the I told myself that I would wait till at least after 4th of July. So I'll probably go the weekend after. I know I'm going to at home, hopefully that weekend, but like that Friday, I think I'll probably go to like Bath and Body Works. Um, I probably won't go to Home Goods for a little bit only because of everything that was going on. Our Home Goods in Oregon just opened, so they're trying to get through everything that they did not sell that would kind of already be gone. So I don't think I'll go there until I definitely see that other states have it out. Cause I feel like we're way behind when it comes to home goods, but yeah, sorry, I just keep rambling. I've said this like two or three times. I don't know, maybe I'll cut it out, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe, give this video a like, leave me a comment, let me know if there's any pumpkin recipes you want me to try with you or any type of Halloween related video because in my mind, it's always Halloween. So I don't mind filming Halloween all year round. Bye pumpkins, see you guys later.